Well, welcome to the Science Center prep room. Uh, we've got a balloon hanging in the back of the physics area, and the balloon is charged. Um, and the charge on the balloon is allowing us to collect radon daughters. So the nuclei that are produced when radon gas um, disintegrates. And I'm going to take this balloon, I'm going to deflate it, and put it under a counter. So the line before we put the balloon under the counter is the background. This is, there's nothing under the counter and there's a small rate of uh, radioactive decays. And then right here we put the balloon under and now we see that instead of three counts every three seconds, we're seeing on the order of 80 to 90 counts every three seconds. For the most part, it's alpha particles. Uh, this counter can count alpha, beta, and gamma particles. The half-life of the particles that we catch, we know from previous experience, is on the order of 45 minutes. So we're going to step away, let this count, and come back in 30 or 40 minutes and see where this count is. Okay, well, it's been a little over an hour since we started this. And you can see that the, there's a curve now. There's um, a decay. We see that we're at about 4,200 seconds. We started at 1100 seconds, so that means the time it took to go from the initial value to half of the initial value is 3100 seconds. And you can see that this curve continues to decline. Um, at first it looked like pretty much just a straight line, but now we're seeing that it's kind of leveling out, and that is... Um, characteristic of an exponential decay. So if we wait another 3,100 seconds, we would expect to find this value going from 37 down to uh, about half of that. All right, so here we see a day's worth of data. The uh, computer is still taking data. And you can see that the initial decay curve, the exponential, is pretty rapid. And the half-life we measured to be about 3,000 seconds. So we see that a couple times. But then as we get into um, longer, it, it's turning into a half-life of about 10 hours. So what we're seeing is these isotopes with the short half-life are decaying into these isotopes with the longer half-life. So we're experiencing the, uh, the radioactive decay chain of radon um, over time.